What's going on everybody? Spunky Nice and I want to come at you another video. Coming at you with some more news out of Philadelphia. With the NFL draft quickly approaching us only a few weeks away, the, um, we are now in full draft mode. The um, Eagles are bringing their prospects to get a better close, you know, to get a closer look at these prospects in the upcoming weeks. And they're going to be bringing in a wide receiver from Arizona named Nikhil Harry. Um, Nikhil Harry is um, a two-time first-team all Pat 12 in 2017 and 2018. He's six foot four, 228 pounds. He ran a 4.5 in the 40-yard dash at the combine, the Scotland combine. Um, during, his, during his freshman year, he caught 58 passes for 659 yards and five touchdowns. During his um, sophomore year, he caught 82 passes for 1,142 yards and eight touchdowns. Um, during his junior year, he caught 73. His junior year, which was his final year in, you know, in, at, at Arizona State, he caught 73, 73 passes for 1,088 yards and nine touchdowns. Um, like I said, big guy, six foot four. Um, Eagles are not really in a big dime move right now. They're not really a big dire straight, you know, straight right now for a wide receiver. They're not in the desperate. They're not desperate for one. What I'm trying to say, but um, you no know, speculation could be that the Eagles are looking at receivers because they could be trying to find Nelson Aguilar's replacement. As we all know, Nelson Aguilar is going into the final year of his uh, contract, and it is very uncertain whether not whether or not the Eagles are gonna. Um, Resign those Snagalar. so they could be. They could possibly be looking for his um his replacement after this season. Who knows? But um yeah, Nikhil Harry's big. He's a big dude. He, like I said, six foot four, two hundred and twenty eight pounds. He's he's twenty uh, one years old. Um, you know, so just no, not 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 one hundred percent sure. You know exactly if he's going to be the replacement for Nelson Aguilar, but it's definitely a possibility. You know, the, you know the Eagles are definitely, you know, keeping all options open. You know, they're definitely looking at all the, um, you know, the, the options and the, and the prospects in, in, in this um, draft. But, um, yeah, he, um, Nikhil Harry is, is a top 30 prospect. Um, some mock draft experts are projecting him to be in the mid to um, late first round. So he would definitely be within the range of the Eagles. You know, he would definitely be in the range of the Eagles if they choose to, you know, to um, – no, to to pull the plug and go after him. Me personally, I don't think we're gonna draft this guy. Yeah, he he's, he's a big dude, you know, and he he you know decent speed, you know, size. But I just don't think uh, we're gonna draft a wide receiver in the first round. I've told you guys this over and over and over. I still see the Eagles going defensive line in the first round. This this draft right now is so stacked with defensive talent, you know, so much especially on the D line. I think the I think the Eagles, um, nor Harry Roseman, man, he's not gonna pass on the on the town in the first round, you know, on the on the D line. Um, Nikhil Harry, you no, know, the kid looks great. The film that I saw on the kid, he looks great and everything. He looks great, and he's gonna. Be, I think he's gonna be a very good playmaker for some team. I just don't think that team's gonna be the Eagles. I think they just bring him in just to get a look at him, like they would like they would do. You know, all the top prospects in their in their range of the, of the draft. Um, Obviously, speculation the Eagles could actually trade that first round pick or move, you know, to move up, or whatever. But who knows at this point? Only Roseman knows that, right? But um, my gut feeling is that the Eagles are gonna, um, you know, get a, they're gonna draft a defensive lineman, defensive tackle, or defensive end in the first round. That's my gut feeling. You know, they're bringing in Josh Jacobs, like I told you guys in, in, in a previous video, and they're bringing in the Kill Harry, you know, offensive players and stuff. But I still feel like the Eagles are gonna go defense in the um in the if, if I if I if it was my my gut feeling is they're gonna go defense in the first round, you know. But um yeah. The kill Harry is coming there for a um a um a pro a, a, a pro day um evaluation. We'll see how that goes of course, you know, we'll definitely see how that goes. You know, um at some point they gotta figure out the Eagles gotta figure out what they're gonna do with Nelson Aguilar and it's possible that they could you know they could they could you know shot the hell out of us and draft this kid you just never know with, with Harry Roseman you just never know but um you know we you know they they obviously got to figure out what they're going to do with Nelson Aguilar after this season you know if they're going to resign him or if they're going to move on to find his replacement in this draft that remains to be seen but um yeah Eagles bringing in um the kill Harry for a um pro a pro day evaluation wide receiver out of Arizona State 
Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, if you're new, of course, uh, hit that subscribe button, the like button, the comment button, and just you know that the bell. Let, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. But as always, Sparky991 coming at you with another video. I'm out of here. Fly or fly. Peace.